All right. Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster back here on this uh, Monday, right? Monday night, uh, August 16th, 2023. 10.27 p.m. California time here. Latest quake shows some movement out in Iran with a 5.3 earthquake here. Right on the plate boundary, it looks like. Just off of it there, maybe. Uh, 10 kilometers deep. That is the latest earthquake there on the map. Uh, what do we got going on out here as far as movement goes? Let's check out California. We did have quite a bit of activity stirring up here this morning into the southern edge of the Cascadia subduction zone with a 4.8 and a 4.0 and a couple other smaller quakes in there as well. Does not look like we've seen anything else uh, throughout the afternoon or evening so far. Uh, let's check out the trimmer map and see what we have here. Uh, zero trimmers along the Cascadia. Uh, further up north, looks like a little activity across uh, north of Mount St. Helens and uh, outside of Seattle, a little small 1.7 earthquake there. As uh, far as the rest of California, generally uh, just mostly microquake out here. Microquake activity, that is. Uh, Southern California, seen a handful of smaller quakes today. The last one, a 0.7 out there uh, south of Marietta, off of the Elsinore Fault. And uh, one little earthquake out here across the plate boundary of the southern segment of the San Andreas Fault. Nothing really major going on, though, for now in this area. Uh, and that goes for the most, uh, most part, the rest of the country out here. We're seeing a little bit of activity here across Yellowstone with some very small microquake activity here. Let's go ahead and check that out and see what we have. That's going to be the, uh, the six-pointer into the uh, Aleutian Trench, just FYI, this struck this morning, 6.4, about 4.30 in the morning or so. That's a beautiful signature that showed up there on that seismograph station. It's actually, most of them, it looks like, the ones that are properly tuned, that is. Uh, as far as earthquake activity goes, uh, looks like maybe a little spike here around the Pitchstone Plateau area. A couple small quakes, but no major swarms, no unusual magma movement. Everything looks just as it does normally there across Yellowstone National Park. Uh, Kilauea Volcano still showing a little bit of activity here, uh, even one within the last hour, 1.8. I'm going to go over here and check out the uh, latest information uh, from the Volcano Hazards page. Let's see what we have as far as tilt meters go. Um, I'm going to check out Mauna Loa here first, see what we got up here at the top. I'm thinking some of these seismograph stations should be working. If I can get one to work up here, we'll try this one. This is a tilt meter. That one is not functionable. That one is a past week tilt. Nothing major going on. There's um, some general inflation, but that doesn't look like anything uh, abnormal. Earthquake activity very minimal for the most part up here across Mauna Loa as well. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the Kilauea Volcano over here. That's been the area of interest here recently with a lot of earthquake activity taking place and uh, quite a bit of tilt as well. Here's the last two days of activity. Notice the inflation coming back once again. Uh, but if you look at the overall trend here over the last 30 days, it has these little periods where it drops off, stays uh, quiet for a couple days and picks back up. Uh, and we're just coming back from a period of uh, quietness here for a couple, couple days. Uh, so we're seeing the inflation peak again. Nothing spectacular as far as any unusual uh, activity goes. It's just uh, continued inflation and we're seeing the return of earthquake activity there with that inflation across the Kilauea volcano. But for now, um, I don't think we have to worry about anything as far as the eruption goes. No uh, major uh, movement that I can see. The latest Kilauea daily update here from the USGS shows that it is not erupting. Uh, and they mentioned here about the ground deformation rates beneath the southern part of the summit caldera uh, have decreased over the past several days. But we're looking at that uh, coming back. This update was put out prior to the inflation coming back here today along with earthquake activity. So... I'll just continue to watch that and uh, report back on it if anything major changes. Uh, let's check out the rest of uh, Alaska up here. Looks like a couple twos and some ones out here. Haven't really seen any major upticks since the 6.4. Uh, 
earthquake there along the Aleutian Trench this morning. Uh, a little bit of activity uh, around the Kuroka Machaka. This was way earlier, actually late last night, super early this morning somewhat, that 5.2. Nothing going on for the most part here across the Japan region for now. Uh, some spotty activity here across Taiwan and the... Um, this is the northwestern edge here of the Filipino plate. A little bit of spotty activity stirring up here in the last 24 hours, but nothing major. Uh, Mariana Island, seen a 4.5, that earthquake from earlier this afternoon. And down south here into the Fiji and the Tonga Trench area, nothing coming up here since uh, that earthquake this morning, that 4.1, pretty deep into the Tonga Trench. Looks like they've updated that 5. Uh, Five-pointer to a 5.3. Seen a pretty good cluster of movement here across the Java Trench for now. Uh, not a whole lot going on through New Zealand. We had one earthquake out there in the uh, southern Indian Ocean out here uh, earlier this morning, but uh, for the most part that has died off. And um, let's see what we got over here across the Puerto Rico area. One earthquake in the last hour here, 3.3. Outside of San Juan, Puerto Rico region. A couple of quakes up here around the Puerto Rico Trench as well. Uh, looks like things may be getting ready to stir back up overnight. Um, let's see what we got here for the Middle East area. There's that 5.5. Turkey area relatively quiet and so far in the rest of the Mediterranean as well. Um, I still think uh, between all the earthquake there in western Afghanistan um, that uh, something out here is brewing that was a lot of unusual activity here in western afghanistan over the past couple weeks along with that swarm out here across the izu trench i just haven't put my finger on it yet uh, as to what may have uh what it may be leading to so uh let's see not a whole lot going on through the atlantic for now South America region seen a handful of earthquakes including in Argentina earthquake here well actually underneath Argentina 170 kilometers deep for a 4.6 uh, this area has seen a little bit of uptick here in the past couple days maybe we'll continue to watch that Peru Chile trench seems like it wants to zip down here to the bottom uh, along this area of the subduction zone all right space weather activity I uh, did see a little bit of flaring earlier, it looks like. Some sea flare activity and currently seeing one right now. Uh, that looks like it's coming from one of these sunspots here, potentially. Uh, but also at the same time, we've got some active regions coming around the bend on the eastern limb of the sun that we need to keep an eye on for some, uh, some future flares here in the coming days. 80% chance for a sea flare. M flare at 20 X flare remains at a 1% chance. And a look at the magnetogram out here shows, uh, well, not a whole lot of complexity out here. There's a little sunspot here that's showing that C flare. I believe it's coming from that one. 3463, right? 3463. Uh, but for the most part, these look relatively stable. We'll watch these other ones as they come around the bin. I don't think any of these, well, this one here is starting to grow slightly uh, within the center core, but I don't think anything uh, major is going to pop up here. We'll probably continue to see some more sea flares overnight. Uh, nothing major going on for the auroras. No major solar storms in the forecast for now. Quick glance at the uh, numerical models out here for the, uh, the weather forecast. Cooler temperatures remaining out there across a good portion of the eastern uh, states. Uh, we are underneath the influence influence here of high pressure along the west coast. Look at this. Look at that blob of orange right here. That's a massive high pressure system bringing in some very warm temperatures for this time of year here to northern California, unfortunately. Uh, it's going to hang around for a couple days. It's supposed to be um, highs in the low 90s. I'm not a big fan of that before. It gets kind of squished away and replaced with a cooler, much cooler system coming down from the north there from Canada. Notice how these flip-flop here. High pressure back over to the east and low pressure now in the west. Uh, very typical type pattern set up here. Um, just always tends to go that way. Uh, but it looks like towards the end of October here, you guys in the east are looking at... Uh, 
some pleasant temperatures and then uh, potentially some cooler temperatures here as we head into November. But this is a ways out. Uh, for now, enjoy those cooler temperatures out there because it looks like high pressure is going to build back in in your region here, maybe for Halloween. We'll have to see how this uh, plays out for Halloween night. It's coming up really soon. One of my favorite holidays. All right. Anything else going on here, folks? Don't think we got anything major as far as hurricane statuses go. Uh, the Atlantic looks pretty uh, quiet for now. All right, have a good one. Uh, we will catch you guys back out here sometime tomorrow, Tuesday. Have yourself a wonderful evening there, and um, we'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. Peace out.